Hello there. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to create this uh, type of rain drips on glass for our um, indoor environment that's specifically made for architecture visualization projects. If you haven't seen the main video on this one, there's definitely a pop up somewhere in the screen that you can go ahead and click on that video is a complete explanation of everything, every aspect of this material, this shader to be specific. But since we are right now working on a mobile project, we are going to be cutting a lot of details from that material. So this is what we ended up having. That one is really a huge one, like this, I mean, a huge material with a lot of code in it. But here we are working on a mobile project. So let's get started. Go to your um, content folder, materials, right click, click a new materials uh, material and name it something. I've already created one named it M underline glass. Unfortunately, refraction doesn't really work well on um, mobile devices. I'm using uh, deferred rendering. It's not good, it's not good at all, it doesn't look good at all and it, it can't really calculate everything properly and it, and it will just cut everything off from every angle, it's just, it's bad. But anyway, so we have to go ahead without refraction um, and the main details on the material are blend modes, translucent, this is a glass shader at the end of the day shading model it's gonna be on late and that's it so let's get started on everything that's related inside the material you'll need a texture called uh, rain underline drops this is the texture um it's gonna have a huge amount of um size so we have to go ahead on the compression advanced and crank it down to something like 512 so it came from uh, 5 megabytes to 3 came down from 5 megabytes to 341 kilobytes uh, and the quality is not bad at all there's a link uh, in the description to download this texture as well so let's get started so the first thing we need is a world position uh, you'll have to multiply it you know what, I'm not going to show you this because I want this video to be as short as possible. I'm just gonna go explain everything. So the world position goes into a multiply, multiply, hold M on your keyboard, left click, and you'll have the multiply node. You can just connect these nodes together like this. Um, and then you'll have a four vector, uh, hold uh, four on your keyboard and a left click right click convert to a parameter it's called tile one then hold l on your keyboard for a lerp this one goes into the b section of the lerp and um and then after the lerp you'll have a mask component mask and then we'll have R and B section. So in this, uh, the in the details, you'll have R and B, not the R and G, just change it to R and B, which means X and Z value. Um, then here we'll have another um, vector parameter, just control C, control V and name it tile two. These are just the tile, uh, tiles of our texture then another multiply hold M and this one will get multiplied by the world position. Uh, so this one goes into B, this one goes into the A and then another layer hold, a, hold L uh, and then this one goes into B. Then the first multiply goes into A. Okay, so uh, about the alpha. Oh, and this one as well. So this one goes into the A and this one goes into the B and now we'll have the alpha made. The alpha comes from the vertex normal. So vertex normal, world position. Um, 
goes into the sign this one right here nothing's changed and it saturates just type in saturate uh, a mask for R and a mask for G just type in component mask so you'll have everything disabled uh, except R so you'll only have R and for this one you'll only have G and another one will need an absolute value apps and then we're going to have to round it and a mask component mask which only has the R value just so for the first slurp we're coming off from G value which is the Y axis this one right here and from the R which is the X value coming from here this one and from this slurp we'll need a mask component mask which has G and B and from all of that we're coming to a lerp hold L on your keyboard and left click A value is this one and B value is this one and alpha is the one we've created here so this one goes in here then the texture that you'll have to download the link is in the description just download it open it up and then remember to reduce the maximum texture size it's gonna uh, be a lot for a mobile device just drag the texture in like oh where is it like so and this one goes into the uvs um we've done this part a little uh more is left by the way coming out out of uh, the blue channel we'll have to sub subtract it uh, and then we'll have a time value, the, uh, the period, the ignore pause, everything's at the default value. Uh, then hold M for a multiply, multiply it by 0.5 here. And then this one, it goes into a subtract and the subtract will have a fraction of that one. Then coming out of the alpha channel, we'll have to type in multiply multiply it by 2 and then subtract it by 1 so subtract by a 1 value and then saturate um, to sat saturate uh, and then this one goes into a multiply hold M multiply, multiply the fraction value by the saturate value um, like so and then uh, subtract comes down to a multiple I'm not going to show it again uh, by a minus one value and then a power just type in power and a saturate power of 20 and saturate and these two will add up together so type in add um, add this one to this one and then so this one's just to make some uh, variations you can just go ahead and add this to opacity and the emissive but I ended up using a uh, noise texture that uh, comes up out of the box in Unreal Engine 5 you can just type in um, you can right click texture sample uh, and then choose type in noise and you'll have T on the line noise 01 and you can multiply it, hold the M, multiply it by this one, uh, and then go ahead into the opacity, or you can have a little bit of this one added to multiplying all of that with this value and add those two together. So this is what you see here. If you wanna do it my way, this is the way I did it. So this one goes into the opacity. Uh, since it's an unlit material, we'll only have the emissive color we can get, uh, we can use. So for that, what I ended up using was instead of using a regular color, I used the HDRI image that I'm using in my HDRI backdrop. If you don't know what an HDRI backdrop is, there's a video, there's a... Um, pop up that you can click on it and go ahead and watch that video 
uh, but make sure you use the same HDRI uh, image to kind of simulate what we'll get in our refraction uh, process. We're not going to have any refraction at the end of the day. We just have to fake everything out. So we have the texture sample, just drag it, drag it into the scene and we have world position uh, coming into the UVs and then multiply it by some high value because I mean, you you have to play around with the value. If you have something like 10, for example, it's going to look like this. I want some color in it. So I have to go ahead and type in 200, which looks a little bit better. And then once played with what we had for the opacity and go into the emissive color. Um, or you can just come in here, uh, hold S, type in emissive, um, type in the default value is 200, come in here. Um, so this uh, glass right here is an instance. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to create an instance, just right click on your material and create material instance and name it something so we have the emissive here we can change it to 500 probably and we have some color in it or probably a thousand yeah it doesn't look bad at all okay cool Maybe a little less, by the way. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Um, and this is the whole shader. So to show you everything, this is what we have now. You can just go ahead and double check everything. So you haven't um, made any mistake here and there. And this is the next part. This is the details. Nothing changed. I've play, played around with the lighting mode a little bit, but mm, I can't really use it in our project since this is just a mobile project. Um, and this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it did help you, please hit that, hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.